it looks like the conflict in Ukraine is nowhere near its end. And this is because Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that the peace talks have come and hit a dead end. There was hope that the dialogue would help in reaching some sort of a breakthrough, but Putin now has clearly dismissed that. Putin said that Moscow would achieve all of its aims in Ukraine and will continue its war till their goals are met. The Russian president called Ukraine's Bucha war claims as fake and said that Kyiv's claims on Bucha is what's derailed the peace talks. Putin also attacked the West and its allies and said no one can isolate Russia in this modern world. Putin's comments come at a time when Russia has reassessed its war goals and is now completely focused on eastern Ukraine. The port city of Mariupol is bracing for the last intense battle. Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, has claimed thousands have been killed in the port city of Mariupol due to heavy Russian shelling. The governor of Luhansk has claimed that 400 civilians have died near the front line in eastern Ukraine. настрой антироссийская истерика, она дает о себе знать. Но время все расставит на свои места. Уверяю вас, когда люди сталкиваются с ростом цен на бензин, на продукты питания, на рост инфляции, беспрецедентный рост инфляции, беспрецедентный, это будет отражаться на внутриполитических процессах. Они очень хотели, чтобы все, что происходит, отразилось на внутриполитических процессах Российской Федерации. Они всегда просчитываются. Не понимая, что в сложных условиях российский народ, русский народ всегда сплачивается. Объединили для этого научно-промышленный потенциал России и ведущих предприятий Белоруссии, которые всегда славились еще с советских времен своими компетенциями в производстве высокоточного оборудования сложнейших оптоэлектронных и радиотехнических систем. So right now we're seeing intense fighting continuing in the port city of Mariupol. Russia has been trying to capture the city from day one because of its strategic location. It's the only gateway to the Sea of Azov. Russia has claimed that they've already now seized control of the city. Ukraine has deemed it as the final battle for Mariupol, with the Mariupol mayor even saying that there have been thousands of civilians who've died since the beginning of this conflict in the city. Nearly 50 days of the war in Ukraine, and Russia hasn't let up its offensive. And Putin's eye is on the port city of Mariupol, a city that's been completely battered in the last five weeks of relentless Russian shelling. Since the Russian forces laid siege on the port city, more than 5,000 people, including 210 children, have been killed, according to the Mariupol mayor. While Russia has claimed that Mariupol is already in their control, Ukraine has dubbed it the last battle of Mariupol. This is a drama theater that served as a shelter for hundreds of civilians. The theater was once home to nights of revelry and art. It is now in ruins. Ukraine fears the worst is yet to come for the people of Mariupol as Zelensky has warned of chemical weapons being used by Russia soon. Today, we heard a statement from the occupiers confirming they are preparing for a new stage in their terror against us and our defenders. One of the spokesperson of the invaders said they are considering using chemical weapons against the defenders of Mariupol. We take it very seriously. I want to remind world leaders that a possible use of chemical weapons had been already discussed by the Russian military. At the time, it meant the reaction to the Russian aggression should have been harsher and faster. Ukraine's President Zelensky has also expressed his apprehension that Russian forces could use chemical weapons in this conflict, especially the apprehension is this could happen in and around Mariupol, where the Azov forces are fighting on in some pockets. In those pockets of resistance, Ukrainian forces fear that chemical weapons may be used to remove any pockets of resistance. It isn't just Mariupol. New satellite images show an eight-mile-long convoy of Russian military vehicles moving south through the town of Veliky Burluk in eastern Ukraine. The town, 
sits about 15 miles west of the Russian border in Kharkiv, which has seen intense fighting since the beginning of the invasion. Meanwhile, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Russia does not intend to pause hostilities during the talks with Ukraine. During the first round of talks, President Putin ordered to suspend military action and the special military operation. After we became convinced that the Ukrainians were not planning to reciprocate, a decision was made that during the next round of talks, there would be no pause so long as a final agreement is not reached and signed. With Gaurav Savant and Mosmi Singh in Ukraine war zone, Bureau Report, India Today. Let's get to a ground report next. Rajesh Pawar visited Dimitrivka, which is close to Kiev, one of the suburbs where Russian troops have retreated and left behind a trail of destruction in their wake. He gets us these reports on exactly what the situation is in these parts of Ukraine. Russia continues its relentless attacks in Ukraine. And while Russian troops are now positioned in south and east Ukraine, they've left nothing but ruins behind in their wake in the suburbs of capital Kyiv. Days after Russia's withdrawal from parts of Kyiv, the scale of destruction is coming to the fore. I'm right now in the small town of Stoyanka, which is about 30 kilometers from Kyiv. And behind me, you can see a supermarket which has been completely devastated, completely destroyed in a missile attack from Russian forces. We visited Dmitrievka, which is 30 kilometers from Kyiv. Several armored vehicles lie completely destroyed. This is a third tank and armored person carrier we have seen on the way from Kyiv to Dmitrievka. And you see how it has been damaged. Totally badly damaged, totally burnt out from inside, and probably there were eight to ten people inside when this armored personal carrier was hit and destroyed. And the number of cartridges lying here, look, the fired cartridges of machine guns are lying all around. On top also, if you see, that is a gun, main gun of the armored personal carrier, and near that, you see the number of fired cartridges lying everywhere. This gives an indication, this is a proof that people inside this fought before they finally got destroyed. They fought, they gave a tough fight to people and finally an uh, anti-guided weapon was fired at them which destroyed the whole thing totally. There are telltale signs in the region of the fierce battle between Russian and Ukrainian troops. Many tanks and APCs are lying destroyed here. This is like a graveyard of tanks and APCs, this area. And this road goes to Kyiv, Irpin and then to Kyiv. The northwest axis we have all the time been talking about during the war. And this is where the Russians got stalled on the northwest axis, where they could not penetrate ahead. Otherwise, they would have reached Kyiv city. Innocent civilians continue to face the wrath of Putin's troops. Businesses, property and lives continue to remain crippled. I am in the village of Dmitrivka and behind me is business of this man. Before war, it was a flourishing business. It was an oil change or a service station for the cars. Uh, what is it? Ser Sergei. Sergei. It was a car station. It was a service station for changing oil. Uh, change oil, diagnostic, uh, remont, uh, takash, uh, remont is repair, repair, change oil, little bit taking care of the cars, yes? Uh, okay, and where is your house? Uh, Doma, give it to the Doma. Me, James, находится в Дмитриевце. Same, in the same village. He lives in the same village and it was his business. Russia has deployed all their war machines in Ukraine, which were till days back, all directed towards Kyiv. You see this pin and you see this. From there you set the range. You align this with this and to the target. This is how you fire this kind of disposable rocket launcher. It is so easy to learn. Align two things with the target and you just pull the trigger and that's how you can aim and learn how to use this weapon. 
This is a Russian disposable rocket launcher, which they have used ex ex extensively against Ukrainian targets. You see the markings here. This is all Russian markings. And this weapon has been used extensively by the Russian forces against Ukrainian tanks, armored personnel carriers, vehicles, and also to damage the concrete roadblocks which Ukrainians had put all over this road. This is Rajesh Pawar for India Today.